All right, folks, so today the topic is about the show Moonshiners. Uh, a buddy of mine that I met through YouTube, uh, we've talked a lot here the last couple months, turned to be friends and everything, and I kind of mentioned this to him. He thought it would be a great idea, but I just want to mention all first thing. There ain't nothing illegal about knowing about moonshine. There ain't nothing illegal about it. So, uh, first time one of y'all called the law on me and sent them down here, uh, it's just a waste of tax money you just made for us, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, first off, I like the show. It is an interesting show. It is a good show. Uh, but there is parts of it even dumbasses can tell it's fake. Uh... I have met Tim Smith. I haven't met Tickle or none of the others, but I have met Tim. But Tim was Grand Marshal over Moonshine Days down in Salina, Tennessee. He was down there, law walking around everywhere. Now you think if that show was real, the law was all over down there. He, he's known all over television. Now, if it would have been real, he was really making moonshine. Do you think they would have been walking around letting him go? But, alright, here's my number one facts. One, you've got you, this here's your run of liquor that comes out of the steel. You've got your heads, you've got your body, you've got your tails. Heads has got acetone and other toxic chemicals in it that is burned off of the mash first. Well, if you drink that, you can be blind or it can even kill you. But, uh, it'll smell. Now, if you're doing this homemade and you're starting, I'd advise you not to do it just out of what you see on the show because you will get killed or not get killed, but you will be hurt if you drink that first little bit that comes out of there. That's toxic. You've got your body. Your body is what you drink. It's this stuff. I'll do a little more about that after, in a minute, after my talk. But, yeah, your body is what you drink. A good run will be just you know, it'll be about 100, 180, 190 proof. That's real stout. But, uh, it is legal to run off a, uh, to have a gallon still. It is legal. Uh, that's as far as I know of. Uh, you can make, I think it is a gallon a month for personal consumption. Uh, myself, I wouldn't really fool with it. I mean, I've tried it once, but it's just too much work for me to, you know, make off a couple little jars because you got to sit there and watch it. And it. It took, you know, it takes about eight hours to run off a gallon. But, uh, more talk. It is not illegal for me to have this. Uh, this is some that my uh, papa had right before he died. Uh, see, now watch. See, that there's, that there's kind of stout, and I'll kind of sacrifice a little bit of this to show y'all and probably burnt my ass up. I don't know if you've seen that flame. The camera might not have picked it up, but yeah, it is a flame. Uh, I can't drink none because I'm on antibiotics, but I just thought this might be an interesting video for y'all. And uh, it is not illegal to have some. It is a misdemeanor to, if you get caught making it, uh, if you get caught bootlegging it, it is a... Uh, 
it is a felony. You will go to jail if you get caught bootlegging it. But making it is a misdemeanor. Drinking it is, I mean, you can pretty much drink it. But, you know, I just thought this would be an interesting video for y'all. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, be making more farm videos here soon, I reckon. But I just really ain't had the time to do it. I don't want to do it. I just want to hurry up and get my shit done and leave. But I'll show you what I've been doing here. I've been dragging this out. That's the shit that was over there the other day. I knew it would pull it. I just didn't think it would pull it as good as it did. But This right here. This right here. That dirt comes out easy. The chain's thinner on this side, but. You know, hope you all enjoy the video. There's your little knowledge. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, y'all have a good one.